Utopia. A hush begins the day of bated breath and slate gray sky. We do not reign within ourselves, and so these days suck air, mock color. When shall we come to rule our passions, fears, desires, and be a king unto our own being? We shall not. And never was decreed that any man himself rise up, no isolated individual, but that the whole of all the world be saved. And may be seen that there was an organic totality of us decreed, foreseen, and in actual being before ever we came here. What use to reconcile, if not all be reconciled? Our true wealth was always in our spirit, in whole part, lest any be lost to you. For all were yours, and are, and of a question will be. How does the world release from error and to join the Holy One on high and unto all his life? You deemed our life be yours. There is no intermediacy, no life between. Some fought bravely with the heart, and some the mind prevailed. The souls of us are in all directions and have no strength. The worship of you requiring all of heart, soul, mind, and strength. We must be somehow joined. Utopia was called upon but failed. Dedicated men called out, Confucius, Mohammed, Buddha. These and a hundred others, none comprising the wholeness. They were right in part. It must all be of and for the people. Someone must come, a true person, without rhetoric or philosophy, but only goodness poured out. For in him, the greatest power, greatest mind, greatest love and spirit holy and with these a divine will that all should be one, as was conceived, as was decreed. Yet the earth did go awry, astray, and all its peoples. The great many did not come back, did not desire unity or goodness to prevail, lost even self-love and love for any, and of God's love yours knew nothing, nor cared to know. This is the muddle which was once the huddle, the cocoon of a togetherness lacking animosities. Suppose that above the hush were a music of perfection and color brushed to all the slate, enlivening it to joy. What miracle could cause this to be? One of all power and presence could, if he would, it is not for us that glory is to come upon the world, but for you. You which have the power to glorify yourself in all aspects of your being. And this a thing which man could not in himself find nor effect. The grace of God is solely possessed to you. And all its timing and effects to the purpose of regathering what was from before we were placed in being, a oneness consisting of all which is good, none which is evil, and all to one people, to praise ever higher and higher the glory unto you, and raise it up. Amen.